everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new WWE action figure playset in the WWE Mattel Reckon Slam and Stack Forklift figure. Not figure, jackass. It is a playset featuring a Brock Lesnar action figure, and I'm actually really, really excited for this playset because I love all the Reckon stuff between the car and the other car and the four-wheeler and the slam cycle and the big rig Reckon flam and the big rig Reckon slam mobile deal. I am all in on these playsets. Now, do I think they're a bit cartoony? Absolutely. Do I think they're a bit wacky sometimes? Absolutely. But I think, you know, especially if you customize them, like, I can take this forklift and make it look like a forklift straight out of a Marvel movie. You know, I, you could detail it, and maybe we could do that at a later date or something. I did it before with some old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle vans. I turned it into a Punisher van. You take some matte black paint and some different, you know, metallics and stuff like that, bro. You can really transform these things, but nonetheless, man, I did find this at Target when I found all those other action figures, but here it is, the Reckon Slam and Stack Forklift. How will it compare to our rest of our WWE Mattel Reckon vehicles? We're going to have to find out, but you guys can see here, WWE logo, you get the forklift, you get some action shots over here. It looks like it gets a pallet. No, it's not as good as that pallet. That's the pallet. This is just a pallet, you know. It's not the pallet like that one, but I think we're going to get some fun stuff out of this. You got Reckon down here, Slam and Stack, six breakaway pieces, launching action, Brock Lesnar action figure. On the back, you do get some cool stuff. You got Elite Rollins, Elite Lashley, you you got Brock over here. Looks like he's dropping that pallet onto AJ Styles. Raise and drop the lift. I think my brother operates a forklift for a living, or he used to. I know he used to, you know, as a warehouse guy. He was he was forklifting people all the time. Kind of sound weird. Biggie, Roman Reigns. Pretty cool stuff, man. I'm, I'm excited. I, I can't wait to crack it out, man. We're going to take a look at this forklift, take a look at all the different functions of it, see how usable it is. I mean, you know, it's great use for your backstage or your parking lot brawls. Well, let's shut the hell up, crack the beast incarnate out of his forklift, and crack the forklift left out of the beast incarnate. All right, guys, so here's our Reckon Slam forklift out of its packaging. Very, like, unconventional, I'd say, with this one. I'm a bit surprised by the way it was made. I'll showcase, you know, all the abilities and all those different things about the, the set, of course. But I'm having fun with it. You know, it's got some cool functions about it. We're going to take you guys through everything about it, break down all the set and everything. But it has some weird features, and we'll, we'll break all that down, and you guys can let me know your thoughts on it and everything like that. So with that being said, man, let's shut the hell up. Let's get into it and break down the Reckon Slam forklift, or Slam and Stack, right? We're slamming, we're stacking. I'm about to put Brock Lesnar in this bitch. I got all the different elite Brock Lesnars to look at with this thing, so I'm excited. Let's get into the Reckon Slam and Stack forklift from Mattel. All right, guys, so getting into this forklift, if you guys want to know about the scaling, I guess we can go ahead and get into the scaling so you guys can at least know exactly what you're purchasing here. So here is the new Amazon 3-pack Brock up next to it, and... I've been around a few forklifts in my day. I haven't ever had a day job or something like that where I go and I get on a forklift every single day. So I'm not a forklift connoisseur. My brother is. I'll have to ask him how this thing is made. It looks like a forklift. You know, it has the functions of what I would think a forklift would have. But this looks to be pretty good scale to me. I think that the Brock Lesnar does match up well right here. I don't think you're going to be like, oh, damn. That's it. Like, honestly, it may be uh, like 10% too big. I could be wrong about that. But it kind of, I don't know. It may look like it's a little oversized in comparison. At least from what I've seen, but if you guys want to take Brock, actually, I don't know if I want to put this in here, dude. I love this figure so much, I don't want to ruin it or break it or anything like that, but I do have the Ultimate Edition and stuff in here, but from what I've seen, you can finagle and get him in here. It is a bit tricky at times. It's like it gets it gets hung on some certain areas. I'm actually, I'm going to switch out the Brock because I, I really don't want to break this Brock or mess this Brock up. I love it too much. So, I'm just going to take the Elite 96 Brock, you know, so I got my big boy right here. I'm going to uh, go ahead and like his I don't know his articulation is a little bit better than that Brock over there so actually this part right here pops off so that's probably why it's hard to finagle him in there so you can like sit him in there like that and then he can grab onto the steering wheel and all that mess and then you can take this piece and you can reattach it so so if you want to put a wrestler in there and they're not a smaller wrestler like you know if they're a Brock Lesnar size you may want to remove that side piece wall and place them in there but the scaling looks pretty good I think it looks good with him driving around in there like don't you think that looks pretty good it looks like a guy driving a forklift to me. Would this pop back on, or are we going to have to have issues, Brad? Alright, so there it goes, but if you guys were wondering, removable pieces. You can pop the roof off right here. You can pop off this part. So you can pop off this whole cage part, and this cage part actually goes together. So the whole like roll cage is kind of what it is. Obviously, it's not a roll cage, but it's similar to a roll cage, just in case the thing tips over. You have that, and then you can remove the side pieces. So there's that side, and then you can remove this side. 
and now you're left with kind of like a bare bones forklift and it kind of looks like an airplane you know luggage sort of vehicle now without the trailer on the back is what it kind of reminds me of or kind of like a lawnmower almost at least that's what you know that's what it looks like to me but this part right here is functional it also comes with this pallet now it is breakaway so you can break that away and it looks like it has pegs on it for you to port figures in there so if you want to stand you know a figure on top of the pallet while it's operating you know on the forklift or whatever the case is it does also come with this Brock Lesnar figure and I guess we can do a short review right here of the Brock Lesnar I actually like this head sculpt a lot and the one thing I noticed is it looks like the ultimate edition head sculpt and I think it is but I almost feel like it's painted better like am I tripping like look at that dry brushing in the beard and then uh, it does have blonde hair painted on the side so you may want to acetone that off but this is actually a damn good head sculpt I'm almost debating acetoning off the blonde hair on the side and putting this head sculpt on my ultimate because this doesn't look as good as this am I tripping the basic in this wreck and forklift looks better than the ultimate edition head sculpt and we never got this head sculpt on another ultimate edition the rest of the elite 96 the amazon three pack the elite 99 all feature the smiling head so maybe you want to get this because it has like good dry brush detail on the face and it also has better likeness in my personal opinion over the ultimate edition and i love that ultimate edition but he's a bit st a stumpy neck like you guys can see he's kind of like leaning forward he looks a bit awkward but all his tattoos are on here he's got black shorts it's a very basic basic if you know what i mean but and you're not going to be able to put this guy on the god dang forklift like are you insane bright look at that knee look at that right there you think you're putting that in the forklift absolutely not you're going to need elites and stuff but that's kind of bummerific that the basic figure that comes with it doesn't really fit in there nice but it does come with it so i'm going to absolutely put that brock in the crowd and i think i'm going to edit that head sculpt i think it looks better than the other so we'll have to look at that i don't think it's just straight up removable it doesn't feel yeah i'm gonna have to absolutely use heat so don't just try to snap the head off there however it does come with this again it is breakaway and you can take your brock lesnar basic or whatever elite you have and you can of course port him onto this and he will stand on it so that's probably what the function's for you know it's got the peg for the peg hole and you can launch him and all that another function of this thing is you take your forklift and you place your wood pallet on here now i'm gonna be honest with you this is still a much more realistic wood pallet i don't i don't know if this is one that came with mattel figures i think it is didn't it come in like a battle pack or something but i do believe you can use this like if, uh, if i'm not wrong i think you can take this and port this on here so look at that if you want to or wait a minute maybe i'm putting it on there wrong so it doesn't go in these little slots on the side but you can feed it through here and as long as you don't mind about the peg getting like kind of stuck in there you could easily like slide this on here and use the same pallet that came in like those battle packs and stuff you can use this on this forklift and this part does drop and you know you can scoop up forklifts the only thing is this is but this piece right here again that peg i may have to sand that peg off bro because that peg keeps getting stuck in the pallets so my experience with a forklift this is supposed to be straight up and down so it's flat so that when the pallet's sitting there you can literally you know drive up and then scoot it like that and then go up like that so it's not exactly accurate but you know it gets the job done i think but it does also feature a peg right here you guys can see there is a peg on this so you can put a superstar on there so again Again, taking the brock putting it on there and you know you can then lift up the superstar so they can you know they can go up and down on the forklift as well so those are this is one of the options and again going back to let me put my good pallet back over here if you take this one pallet and you put it on there you can you know put the superstar under here and then if you'll pick this up and drop it just a little and then drop it it will release onto the superstar now it's not hard enough to break it unfortunately but this is what's weird about it if you go up here if you go up on the roof like this i saw on the packaging like this little trigger right here it comes on the roof of the forklift you're supposed to like take this and plug it in right here and then you use this to launch people but that doesn't really make sense because when you when you put this roll cage back on here so putting this back on so you guys can see exactly what i'm talking about this ish is insane all right, so look, here's the roof, right? And this roof is supposed to attach to this, but now the roof is detached and the lights are on the back. So if you undo this and you put it on there, how it came, this is how it came in the packaging right here, right? So this is how it came in the packaging, just like this, okay? You can still use this, but there's no like trigger thing. Like there's nothing to plug in here. This piece is what plugs in here. So you have to detach, plug this in here, 
but then this piece like flails off and isn't like flush is it supposed to just be something that stands there i guess but it just looks weird when it's way back here and you have this big old metal piece just sticking off the top of it i don't know maybe i'm doing everything wrong or maybe i'm questioning things that aren't supposed to be questioned i'm just giving you my my thoughts on the deal you know maybe it's supposed to look weird and awkward but you can put a superstar up here i guess you don't really necessarily have that but like i don't know how to launch that what i guess you can like put a guy here and launch him like that or put the you could put the pallet on here can you launch the pallet yeah you can launch the pallet it still doesn't break though like i don't know i don't know man maybe i'm just an idiot i could just be stupid i don't know <laughs> however i still think it looks cool it's a cool piece i still think this part up here is very weird like is that supposed to stay like that like what is this supposed to like, look, that feels like it's about to snap in half. This is legitimately screwed in there, so I would say, do you supposed to do something with that? But that's screwed in, so I don't think that's accurate. I don't know. Maybe it's just a weird playset, man. Maybe it's just weird. I looked at the... There's no instruction manual. And again, maybe I'm just overdoing it, you know? Maybe I'm just an idiot, but... Or maybe it's supposed to come down like that now, and now there's this. I don't... I don't... I don't know. Like, I guess that's accurate, but then you have the lights up here. Like, what is... What is going on, bro? What are we doing here, you know? So, I don't know. Maybe I'm the idiot. Again, maybe I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but see, that folds over, but then it doesn't connect to anything. But I guess it's not supposed to, but you can still, you know, that's the trigger launch there for that. All right, I'm done with it. I don't, I don't care. Anyway, you can, you have a bunch of different functionalities for it. Again, you can put that down there. This is kind of a cool feature where it just like, you know, it'll just drop on somebody, which I think is cool, but I'm just going to leave it like it is. And, you know, if I, if I use this in the pick fed or something like that, which I sure as hell will, like, that's the whole point. Why, why buy these things if you're not going to get some cool usage? photography or setups with it but if you're trying to put it back together this piece goes up here it does have the wwe logo on there because of course it does but there it is man you have your full forklift and then there's your wood pallet even though my wood pallet's better but i think you could use this for cool stuff you know you could drive this into people you know you could put somebody on here and then have them drive around like the wheels are operational you can put somebody on the top have people jump off the forklift have people get hit by the forklift you know drag people behind the forklift so there's definitely playability here it's just you know it, it, it's just all of to you i guess but brock lesnar head sculpts a low key one of the best things about it but there's all your brock lesnar figures you got former lesnar we need a tractor now we need the wrecking tractor to flip the ring if they make a flip the ring play set it wouldn't even shock me bro nonetheless that is going to wrap up this video man thank you guys so very much for watching you can get this at target and walmart i do believe nonetheless man i'm getting out of here thank you guys so very much for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i will see you guys in the next video i think it is worth the grab just because i love the vehicles and play sets it's not as good as the slambulance you know if we were ranking these things it's probably one of the lower tiers things you know i don't think it's as good as the wrecking rig it's not as good i think it's better than the slam cycle it's not as good as the slambulance it's not as good as the uh you know the wrecking car but it's pretty good i'd say you know nonetheless i'm getting out of here man thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video have a blessed one we'll never be